young kid, we had this uh, this elementary school teacher, and she used to say that you'd have to be quiet unless you sat on what she called the talking chair. So today I'm going to use the same method. Uh, today I thought that I would take a minute uh, and discuss uh, what led me to becoming a photographer and working in the creative arts uh, full time. Without trying to be out on a soapbox, I just wanted to talk about the things that led me uh, to where I was. I know it's not going to be super important to everybody, uh, but I think it's something that I'd like to share myself. Um, you don't always know when you're on the right path, but you kind of find your way uh, as you work towards it, as you live your life. And if I'm going to say anything for the rest of it, I'm going to need to take this with me. film. Uh, I was about 11 or 12 years old. Uh, I got a hold of this disposable camera. I was going on a little school trip for a couple days. My mom said, take this. It'll be awesome. You'll get your memories. And I remember getting those photos developed for the first time. And the magic behind them, capturing those moments, I, it really stuck with me and resonated with me uh, for a long period of time. Uh, after that, though, I kind of stepped away from photography. and It wasn't something that I was doing other than using my smartphone to capture uh, the odd meal of the day or anything. So the second step in my uh, decision to become a photographer full time uh, came from uh, a point in my life where I was just kind of doing what people thought I should be doing. Um, I did a small stint in university and realized that it was absolutely not for me. Uh, so what I ended up doing was uh, looking around at different options and investment real estate uh, is kind of like real estate investing is where I wanted to be. Uh, so I started a, a career at a, a management firm and we ended up managing about 900 investment properties. Now this work was really unfulfilling for me, uh, but I was really enjoying the time, the downtime that I would have between my duties, going to nice coffee shops, uh, sitting at bookstores, looking through photography magazines, and, and, and anything that I could get my hands on that was artistic. to get properly started, but it was good enough to get me 
uh, to get the fire lit inside of me. It, uh, it made the most sense. From there, uh, what I ended up doing was leaving that job. Uh, I pursued a few other things, uh, but when I left that job, I ended up losing the camera setup. So what I had to do is buy all new gear and start from scratch. Uh, aside from the 40 mil, I had a lens and no camera. So from there, what I ended up doing was grabbing uh, the best equipment I could script and save for uh, and kept doing it on a daily basis. Photography or any kind of creative media, if that's what you want to be doing, you've got to be doing it every day. It's like a full-time job. you got to treat it like one. That's why I've been vlogging every day because I want to become a better filmmaker. And that's why, as you can tell from the first vlog to now, the quality's gotten just a little bit better. Uh, I do hope hearing just a little bit uh, of how I got to where I was becoming a photographer full time inspires you a little bit. Uh, you're not always going to know when you're on the right path, but sometimes you've just got to stop what you're doing, analyze, and go for what makes you, uh, what, what brings passion to you. Uh, you need to make sure that you're living your life the way that you want to live it. Uh, you're not always going to make the most money that way. You're not always going to be the most successful that way but I guarantee you'll have the least amount of regrets and be the happiest you can be doing what you love every single day. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night. Hell yeah. So, Nick and I are going to go out today. Uh, we're going to grab some coffee and we're working on a film that we've been talking about making for like five, six minutes. So we're going to do that today too. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Just grabbing all your things. Okay, I'm going to grab some of my things too. Got that. Got that. Charger. Phone. With one hand is difficult. Stuff? Yeah. Holy shit! Boy. Don't swear on my vlog, Nick. Your vlog 